We're back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. What do you know about the production, the Scottsboro Boys? Well, you're going to be glad you tuned in because it's going to be opening here in Pittsburgh here to talk about it. Tume Cousin, the director and choreographer of the show, welcome. Thank you very much for having us. You know what? I think a lot of people know the name, the Scottsboro Boys, but they don't know the story. Right. Um, in uh, 1931, mm. there were nine young men, Afro-American young men, and they were traveling in the south for looking for work on a, on a boxcar train. So basically kind of like hobos uh, going. Mm -hmm. And uh, the train was pulled over because of a fight that had broken out between two races on another car. And when they pulled the young men over out of the car, two women were in another car. And they accused these young men of rape. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the term railroad came from, mm -hmm. being railroaded. Right. So these young men went through about, about nine different trials. And each time they were found guilty, even though they were innocent, completely innocent. And it's, uh, it, it became a landmark case in our uh, judicial system and the police system, and mm -hmm. it's just a very famous case. Now, how does that come to life on stage? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the composers, uh, Kandra and Ebb, who are, had, had written uh, Chicago and Cabaret and Kiss of the Spider Woman, took this on because they like case, they like um, court cases. Okay. And so they developed into a musical, which is actually quite entertaining, even though it seems like it's a very dark uh, subject matter. They found a way to not make it um, lampoonish or anything like that. It's very entertaining, and uh -huh. it came to the stage as they play. Yes. So at the end of the production, I'm going to be feeling what? You're going to be a lot of knowledge. You're going to mm. uh, feel a lot of knowledge about a history, our country's history. Uh, you're going to be entertained. But more, I think the, the point of it is to really have a conversation about uh, justice, the justice okay. system. All right. Because yeah. one, one of my standard questions is, what is the after-performance after conversation over coffee? Uh, I think it's going to be, um, I didn't know that. I, I, I didn't know that anything that something like this could happen, has happened, and may continue to happen if, if I personally don't read and find out information for myself. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, when does the production open? It opens uh, next week, September 8th, and okay. it closes on the 24th. Okay. And where is it? At the Pittsburgh Playhouse. And it may be the last, one of the last productions in the old building before the Playhouse has moved into the moves new Moves to structure. the new location. So we should just remind folks then it's on Craft Avenue, on Craft Avenue. In, in Oakland. In Oakland, yes. The old Pittsburgh yes. Playhouse. And talk to me a little bit about the cast. Now, I know we're going to get a sneak preview of something a little bit later, but yes. talk to yes. me a little about um, the cast. Yes. Uh, it, there are nine young men. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine young actors that were handpicked for this production, and we have, they come from all over the United States, and a lot of them are recent graduates, or are, are they all are graduates, I think, from Point Park University. Oh, okay. Uh, a great deal of them. And then some of them I have known from New York City, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of them are local performers that have gone on to great careers or are going on to great careers. So I, I wanted to really work with this unit mm -hmm. of young men. Uh, there's one woman in, in the cast, and she plays the role of Rosa Parks, who played a very uh, important role in the Scottsboro Boys history, which we don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and she also... I'm so excited to see yeah. this now. And then we were classmates mm -hmm. when we went to Point Park back in the 70s. So it's, it's really like a, a tight unit of performers and they're led by uh, our musical director Douglas Levine which is really wonderful. Absolutely. <clears throat> As I said we're going to get a sneak preview of all this in just a second. Yeah. Last question though, is this appropriate for all ages? Is this a family type situation? I would, I would say not for younger, not for the younger children. I would say 16 and above. Okay, yes, yeah. all right. Now before we take a break, tell me what we're going to hear. You're going to hear um, one moment in the show, <clears throat> pardon me, one moment in the show when the boys are, are in, uh, incarcerated, mm -hmm. they have a, a moment to just reflect on missing home. And it's a beautiful ballad by Kandra and Ebb, and it's called uh, Going Back Home. Going Back Home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how do folks get tickets? They call the Pittsburgh Playhouse, or they go online. And if we have a little brochure here. Okay. A picture and here. There you and go. Oh, okay. All right. And I'm sure oh, we have it. 412 392 8000 or pittsburghplayhouse.com yes. for tickets. All right. We're going to take a commercial break. We still have a lot to do because not only are we going to get a sneak preview of the production, we're going to introduce you to a waiting child. So don't go away when the Lynn Hayes Freelancer continues.